Hello, I'm Sigyun, and this is my first vlog, My Parents' Corner. My purpose with this vlog, getting started with the beehive, is to share my raw and personal experiences I had as I began beekeeping. Through this, my goal is to convey what one might feel when they first start out with this journey, and with that, to hopefully make this a relatable and more enjoyable experience for everyone. I also want to share the great impacts that OCBA has with me and several other beekeepers within the community. So thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope you enjoy what I have to offer. Before our setup, my mentor picked a spot or a mini backyard that was facing southeast to maximize the bees' exposure to sunlight. You can see how, how enlarged the sun is, how brightly it shines through the sky. We also had to buy cinder blocks to build our high stand on them. Luckily, Lowe sold them in a great deal and we had a large collection of them. And now everything is nice and sturdy. The slope of the mulch patch is also evenly leveled out. Now we're currently expecting to start our beehives around the end of April, and we're so excited to welcome them. For painting, the supplies we got were, of course, the hive boxes, paints, and some gardening gloves, stands, and an old cloth. At that time, the hive configuration was still complex, so we were a bit nervous starting out. But honestly, the beauty in all of this was that we were given a chance to play around with the configuration and learn how the parts work together. For me, the paint was nice, silky, and smooth, and so I had a great feeling about embedding it to my hives. The paint was such a beautiful blue, but the biggest issue for me was the rough patches of wood that made it difficult to paint all crevices and all holes. So you can imagine that after a while, I was absolutely tired and worn out. Also I had to keep making sure that none of the paint stayed in my jacket or clothes, so that was also a big stressor. So yeah, it took a long time. So many boxes, just so much work. We were so relieved that we were done. And now we knew that we had to embed the frames of wax. Earlier, we got this big block of wax from Bailey Bee Supply and our first task was to melt it. Honestly, the most tiring part was constantly holding it down to the bottom of the pan. And boy, would I like to talk about how all it went. It was extremely tiring and strenuous. I think we spent more than an hour painting all these frames with wax. The worst part was that we didn't even have any bigger clean brushes. All of them were either have been used or completely worn out. So we had to use our newer tiny brushes. It was a big pain and I highly recommend you to use bigger brushes for this task. Also just an FYI, the white colored plastic foundation was the hardest to embed with wax in comparison to the yellow ones. I had so much trouble getting the wax evenly on the white ones. And we had to, to like repeat this process all over again. The beeswax kept on hardening, we had to keep boiling it, we also had to reuse the scraps of beeswax that hardened. We had more to go. We pretty much went back in circles doing the same thing over and over again. It was all a success and we accomplished one of our biggest goals. Okay, so April 30th is almost rolling by and we need to prepare sugar water for the bees. Since we had to follow a one-to-one -one ratio, we decided that for each batch we were going to add four cups of water and sugar. It was quite an interesting experience. What seriously surprised me was how bees really like sugar. I mean, I understand they need them for energy, but I doubt that I would be able to stand it if I were put into your shoes. The process was also quite repetitive and tiring by itself. However, it wasn't nearly as bad as embedding the frames with wax.
That day was the day we got our bees from Bailey's Bee Supply. I have never been happier nor excited my entire life. There were a lot of bee packages in the store as well, and I found it very adorable that the bees hung out on the walls of the store. I was also able to catch a glance of the queen cages with the candy. When we got our bee packages to our house, we first had to remove some of the frames from each hive. Kent and Vicky were also kind enough to donate brood frames for us. It was almost about time to put the bees in hives, and I was so excited. And I also like to say this, the entire irony behind this is that the hardest part of installing the bee pack just for us was taking out the can. I just kept staying put and refused to come out, no matter how many times Seely, my mom, and I pulled. It just wouldn't come out. <laughs> it was absolutely ridiculous. At that time, I was wondering if it was even possible at all to just get the can out. Okay, so Kent luckily came to the rescue and somehow managed to pull the can out of the box. It was pretty surprising. I, I didn't know how he did that. As Kent fought effortlessly to get the can out of the box, thoughts were running through my head. How many bees will explode in the box? Would it be too much for my neighbor to handle? Would it cause a commotion? I was pretty anxious. As soon as the bees came out of the box, I was freaking out. This was the first time I had this experience, and I was shocked, but it was also very amazing. The next thing we had to do was prepare the queen gauge. So I did prepare for this and I did read instruction manuals. However, the problem was that this was my very first time experiencing it. And when it is your first time, you make mistakes. And I think I was like extremely hopeless that time. I was like, I don't know, how am I gonna do this? I was pretty scared because I, I didn't want to hurt the queen, I just didn't want to mess up, and I knew that I was inexperienced. But I had my mentors and my mom around, and I, I felt pretty confident So them. And it was pretty exciting. It was my first time literally seeing a queen up that close. Also, I found the candy very interesting, how it worked, and yeah. I remember feeling very pooped about how clumsy and rough around the edges I was with putting the queen cage in the hive. I expected myself to do it very smoothly, but I just didn't. However, this comes to show that beekeeping is heavily kinesthetic, learning, and repetition based. Sure, you can read all those books, take all those tests, and mentally prepare yourself for beekeeping, but in reality, that isn't enough. You literally have to take initiative and put yourself out there to truly gain experience. I think that was the biggest takeaway for me. For those reasons, I heavily enjoy beekeeping. And I think that it's a very unique and complex activity. And it's my greatest desire to pursue it even further. And it's my great passion. For the blue hive, I made a decision to shake the bees in the hive instead of just putting them in like what I did for the white hive. Preparing to do so was a bit nerve wracking as I worried about several scenarios that could go wrong. They told me to flip the box over. I was like, what? How is that even possible? I was scared. Okay, I know the bees are in a state of confusion, but still I want to be cautious. I was a little bit clumsy there. I felt like an entire load. I was afraid that I would screw this up. I was thinking this is the moment where the bees will explode out of the box. As soon as we released them, hundreds and thousands of bees were flowing right out. Wow, it was, it was like shaking out a box of cereal, uh, flying cereal. The bees were flying everywhere, but I wasn't scared at all. In fact, it was quite exciting. Yeah, I was still a bit clumsy. I need to brush up on my beekeeping skills. I'm gonna get better. Okay, so 
Installing the B packages was an exhausting task, but heavily rewarding at the same time. I was ecstatic by the fact that I was able to formally begin my beekeeping journey. And lastly, I'd like to say that I am truly grateful for my mentors and my mom for their support in all of this.